this one. <laughs> Woo! It's good, right? I kept that pretty good? Oh, man. You're amazing. Hi, everybody. This is Guitar Power. My name is Alan Johannes, and I have the pleasure of being here with amazing guitarist, composer, Mary Halverson. It's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure to be here uh, with you, and uh, you're amazing. And uh, tell me something about the guitar. When? So and it's a Guild Artist Award mm -hmm. from 1970. Yeah. I didn't put any of these scrapes here. Mm -hmm. They were here already. Um, but it's a, it's a great guitar. It has a beautiful acoustic sound. Mm -hmm. I mean, even without an amp. It's incredible. So, and uh, did you start on, on the guitar first? Was that your first instrument? Uh, violin. Violin, really? Yeah. And what attracted you to the guitar? What was the... Probably the same reason as many guitarists, which was Jimi Hendrix. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, me too. The amazing thing about Jimi Hendrix is I feel like I'll ask guitarists from any age between, you know, 70 and 15, mm -hmm. why did they start guitar? And so many people say Jimi Hendrix. So yeah. it's really interesting um, that he's, he's such an inspiration for so many people. And that, and that was why I started. I wasn't really into playing classical music. Mm -hmm. I wanted to play rock. I got a black and white Stratocaster when oh, I was wow. 11 or 12. And, and I started teaching myself some of these songs out of tablature books. Like, what was um, one of the first ones you learned? Was it, were the Hendrix songs? In, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, The Wind Cries Mary, mm -hmm. Little Wing, you uh, still Purple remember Haze. Some, some of those? <laughs> in, uh, Wind Cries Mary. Well, this one. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember a lot of yeah. it, but, but that was sort of what, what got me started. And then how did the whole attraction to jazz start? Kind of by chance. Mm -hmm. There was a, my parents were looking for a teacher because they wanted me to take guitar lessons. and. The guy they found just happened to be a jazz guitarist. Mm -hmm. So I, I never asked to study jazz. Um, <laughs> it just happened. <laughs> just happened. And my dad is a, a big jazz fan, and he had a lot of records lying around the house. So as I started learning jazz, I also started getting into his record collection and listening to some records. You know, he had Miles Davis, John mm -hmm. Coltrane, right, right. Thelonious Monk. So. So you started learning those those those, those uh, standards and, and mm -hmm. playing along to the records as well. And um, you know, so your your influence is more from horn players or, or guitar players. You think in terms of the jazz world? Much more from horn players. Mm -hmm. I guess later I discovered, and by later I mean maybe a, a few years into playing guitar, I discovered mm -hmm. Wes Montgomery. Oh yeah. And he was the first jazz guitarist I really fell in love with. But but really for me it was I was probably more influenced by people like Ornette Coleman and mm -hmm. Mingus and Monk. Um, when I was in high school. Wow. So, and I, I sort of got into more guitarists later. Right, right. So what were the first uh, things your, your guitar teacher, jazz guitar teacher kind of taught you? you yeah, know? I think re really, um, you know, it's funny, I still saved those notebooks. I had like a music notation mm -hmm. notebook and I still have those. And, I, you know, going back and looking at it, I think, you know, really the first thing I learned on guitar was, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Things like that, just basic chord shapes. So just kind of getting my head around that. And then learning how to sight read slowly with, mm -hmm. with simple melodies um, and learning chord voicings. And so just gradually adding to that vocabulary right. um, was, was basically how I started. Right. And tablature as well? You, that was at the beginning, before I could read. Right, right. Um, I had some tablature books, and I found that really helpful. When you can't read on guitar, just to understand um, how to play a melody and, and just mm -hmm. how all the notes work and you can kind of piece things together yourself without having to actually understand oh i need to play a, a b on the fourth string mm -hmm. you could just kind of see see it and right. i think that's a, also a good way to start if you don't know how to read oh definitely um, yeah. i think that was most of what i was working on um with standard tunes. And then I also played alto saxophone for a oh. while. Oh, wow. So um, as I got more into jazz, I, I picked up the alto saxophone. So same thing. I would, you know, practice both instruments and play some tunes. And I wonder if that has something, because you have a really interesting uh, uh, approach. Just I love your voicings. They have this kind of openness to them, you know, which, which are, it's not blo they're not blocky. Yeah, I think guitar voicings are are interesting. Um, I mean, I spent a lot of time just going through really basic shapes and, and things like that and then trying to alter them in some way. You know, there's, there's amazing stuff you can do even just with open strings, you know, instead of just adding in, you know, all, 
Um, no, what's that one? Again, open D, F sharp, open B, and a high F. So you have an open. Oh, I see. What the, oh, I see, so you have to, <laughs> I see like this. So just experimenting with almost shapes and ways to use, yeah. That's a nice, it could be nice as an arpeggio. That's really beautiful, but how do you get there and, 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 and leave it without, in a, in a, in a hurry? <laughs> <laughs> you know, That's I'll a be good like, question. Uh, okay, so we do, uh, okay. Oh, there it is, okay. Yeah. yeah okay. And it can be nice too to alternate cr crunchy chords like that with more um, traditional chords. So you have almost like a, mm -hmm. like they're passing chords or something, mm -hmm. almost like function of a diminished chord. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes I'll try to alternate, you know. Uh, That's beautiful. Things like that. Any other crazy chords you can show me real quick? Um, let's see, what chords do I like? So it's really just a, um, it's almost like an F. Half diminished with a with a D. Oh wow, that's really yeah. cool. So sometimes I'll just then experiment with moving them around. Right. Yeah. That's that's a nice thing too so, about yeah. guitar being a, a kind of pattern oriented mm -hmm. instrument. Is it's it's easy to also experiment with shapes and sometimes that gets you out of ideas. You know, just trying. Um, just experimenting, maybe just hit something you like and then go back and figure out what it is or how you can incorporate yeah, it. So sometimes exactly. I'll do things like that. Like how did you start to kind of develop that? I mean, it's, I know it's kind of hard to answer a question. Like how did you develop such a unique sound, so such a powerful voice of, of your own, you think? I think I had really great teachers mm -hmm. that, that encouraged me to explore and, and try things out and do whatever I wanted. I really think that was why, because I, I was encouraged at an early age to, to just, hey, you could do whatever you want, you know, experiment, try things out, don't worry about mistakes. What, what, do you remember one of the first tunes you ever composed? Like, yeah, I, I probably remember a couple of them actually. Yeah, it, I'd love to hear a, a couple. I mean, were they more for solo guitar, or, or were you already thinking? No, you know, I didn't. I, I didn't start doing solo guitar until about a year ago. Mm. So most of these things I were writing would be for guitar-based drums or guitar, bass, drum, saxophone, or something like that. I mean, they'd, be, they'd just be simple melodies. I mean, something like, uh, see if I can remember it. That wasn't exactly what it was. That was approximate. I'd write yeah. things like that, or I mean, anything. Um, no, it's really beautiful. It also has a tension release thing, which, which I love so much, you know? And, and in and your own compositions, like, uh, do you, does it come from an improvisation when, when you, you know, uh, the beginning part of it? Or do you just kind of like go there and start to, I mean, do you write it down and mm -hmm. is it in your head? Like, what's the process? Usually, yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. I just start improvising on guitar mm -hmm. until I play something uh, that I think could be a seed for a composition. And then from there, I'll just sort of go train of thought. You know, right. at some point I'll probably start writing it down. Do you, um, could you play us something? A little, maybe like a little, uh, a little improvisation or, or, or something? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Great.
it's awesome. Uh, I love your style. I love your vibe. Well, thank you so much for being with us, Mary. Thanks for having me. <laughs> a lot of fun. Great to meet you. Wonderful. Great to meet you, too. Guitar power. Thank you. Thank you.